we could stay in his room in that guest unit if we wanted to. And of course we were like, please, can we, you know? It was pillow fights. We just have a blast, like no rules. You, know, you can't get in trouble, you know? It seemed right away like he was family. It was like being with like a, a brother. Way stayed with Michael. I was ecstatic about this. Yeah. Michael was ecstatic about this. So my whole family left. Um, I had, you know, five days ahead, just me and Michael doing whatever the hell we wanted to do. Oh my god. How weird, no? Not for a family. Oh my god. Clothes and PJs. And then his hands would got to, you know, my, my crotch area. Oh my god. He's sort of fondling. There, um, I was seven, seven years old when this began. Oh my God! Seven years old. And oh then my him God. to do the same thing with him, so moving my hands. Um, <laughs> Can I touch his penis? Believe this. Oh my God! That we love each other. This is how we show our love. So taking showers together and you know following <gasps> and kissing. You can so know him what that kissing me, I mean like full open mouth kissing. Moan and react to that like it felt good. And I liked the feeling that was making him happy. How can you do that? How can you do that? You know, perform oral sex on me. What are you doing? his mouth on, on, on my, you know, seven-year-old penis. You know, quickly it turned into having me perform all sex on him, too. In my mouth, you know, in a little seven-year-old's mouth. <gasps> I get that. Oh my god, oh my god. He'd, and stick his tongue in, in my anus. <gasps> what? Oh my god. There was this... So it's like I was either looking back at him mm. masturbating for me the idea of michael jackson being my dad was the most like incredible idea in the world nasira niya ba yung childhood me ng mga bata mom slept i don't remember any sort of comment about me staying with michael sleeping in his room every night that i was with him there was abuse oh my. while my mother was you know next door wow what this is is us how we show our love <gasps> pag meron daw may nakaalam makukulong silang dalawa so yun yung panakot na sa mga bata so parang they're painting michael as a predator when i wasn't with him i was always thinking about him it just seems like the greatest thing when he calls they got like, married he it's like we're bonded forever it felt good, and he would reward me with jewelry for doing sexual acts for him. Oh he would say um, that I need to sell him some so that I can earn the gift. My God. It's still hard for me to not blame myself. My hands are shaking just holding them. You can tell he still loves yeah, him. No, he called every day for two years. Then now there would be these constant faxes back and forth. You know, I love you, Wade. I love you, little one. Uh, my best friend forever. And all kinds of stuff like that. And I would send stuff back. <sighs> tell him how much I loved him. Oh my god. These are creepy. You know, that I would kind of be with him like a father and son, anticipating the physical contact again the sexual contact ano kaya feeling nung moms nung nalam nung inamin sa kanila yan ng mga anak nila mm -hmm. to think na you were just in the next room him pulling back the curtain on this whole other universe but this one wasn't so fun you know when i was seven Michael said to me, will you leave little one with me for a year? I was on board with this. 
I wanted to, are you kidding me? Like, be able to live with him for a year? It was like the most incredible idea I'd ever heard. And after it was all over, he looked at me and he said, I always get what I want. Oh, wow. Hello again, and welcome back to episode 3 of What I Watched. So for today, for this week, we will talk about just one video. And medyo controversial tong video na to. I know I'm a little bit late in this game. It's Leaving Neverland. Documentary siya ng HBO about basically Michael Jackson, his double life, his hidden life, yung ginagawa niya na hindi alam ng mga tao. Actually... <laughs> Kakapanood lang namin nung part 1 niya na in-upload ni Pink Channel. In-upload niya both parts. Two parts siya. Ang isang part, two hours, guys. So, kung ayaw niyo siyang panoorin, bibigyan ko na lang kayo ng compressed version of it. Bakit ba siya controversial? Bakit siya pinag-uusapan ng mga tao? Actually, it's so controversial na from what I've heard, there are uh, radio stations in the US or siguro in, even in other parts of the world that have taken Michael Jackson's music out of their playlist. Totally. So, ganun kalala yung impact nitong documentary na to. Tapos, there are celebrities that are defending him na why would you believe a documentary over what a man has already achieved or what a man has already proven. So, it's very interesting how this documentary affects everyone. Kasi, who doesn't know Michael Jackson? Di ba? Kahit patay na siya, kilala pa rin siya hanggang ngayon. Hindi ako sure dun sa exact timeline kung kailan pinalabas. Kasi, hindi na na kami nanonood ng cable that much. So, hindi ko alam na in-air tong documentary na to sa HBO. Wala rin akong idea kung bakit siya controversial and what is it about. So, let's start. So, we watched part 1. So, I start, we started watching it in the morning. So, ngayong gabi, since gabi na kami naka-uwi, pag-open ko nung TV, nung YouTube, kasi I was supposed, we were supposed to finish like the last 15 minutes of it. Pag-open ko, wala na, na, ano na siya. Pinatanggal na yung both documentaries. Tinanggal na. So, hindi na namin natapos yung part 1 and hindi na namin napanood yung part 2. Although, I have to say, from what I've watched, I think I've watched enough to give an opinion about it. I'll try to find where I can watch part 2 para, like, para rin I can give a more informed opinion about that. Let's just call this an initial reaction to Leaving Neverland, part 1. Let's be specific. My initial reaction is like, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. How, how, how can you do this? How can you do this? <sighs> the documentary is about these two boys. They met Michael Jackson. So it started off like innocent. Back in the 80s, Michael Jackson was the king. Everyone else was below Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was on top of his game. Eh, itong dalawang batang to, they were like seven, five years old. They idolized Michael Jackson. Imagine five years old. The whole premise for these two kids, ang ginawa ni Michael Jackson, binifriending dalawang bata as in we're like best friends. Even though, alam ba ako si Michael Jackson, I'm an adult. I'm a 20-something adult, 30-something. I don't know his age back then. Tapos ikaw, you're a 5, 7-year-old kid. Tapos I'm gonna play with you. Like, kung ikaw yung bata, you would think na, oh my god, I'm the luckiest kid in the world kasi Michael Jackson's playing with me. He's my best friend. He comes to my house. He talks to my parents. Eh, Michael Jackson frequented their house so much that the mom of the kid was doing his laundry. So, ganun kalala. Na parang doon na siya talaga nakatira. Which also, like, gives me this impression na ang lungkot din. Ang lungkot din, ang lungkot din isipin na he would prefer to live in a stranger's house rather than be with his own family. Oh, there's something wrong with Michael. Kasi, mas pipiliin niyang makitira sa, sa bahay ng iba kaysa sa sarili niyang bahay. I know he had issues back then with his family. Is it that bad that you would live with someone else? The parents would trust him fully. Tapos, unti-unti, lumalala. Nagkakaroon ng times na Michael or the kids would ask if it's okay for Michael and the kid to sleep alone in one bedroom. 
at first, siyempre, the parents were like, um, no, it's not okay. Because, not for anything, but it's just not okay. If you guys get a chance to watch this documentary, I suggest you watch it. Para intindan nyo kung saan ako nanggagaling. I didn't know it was this juicy. It was this bad. Michael Jackson had this thing where he, like, befriended the parents, gained their trust. There are times na pagbabakasyonin niya yung mga parents somewhere, like in Florida. Tapos may iiwan si Michael and the kid in some hotel. My kid doesn't want to go with me. My kid wants to stay with Michael Jackson, of course. For them, hindi nila naiisip na something's wrong. Although it is already a red flag. Yun yung isa ko pang napansin dito sa documentary na to. Ang dami ng red flags for the parents. Pero since because it's Michael Jackson, he's a celebrity, he's the king, hindi na nila napapansin. Tapos siguro hindi rin naman nila akalain or wala naman sa isip nila na someone of this status would do anything to their kid. To their 5-year-old or 7-year-old kid at that time, it's bad. It's just bad. If totoo yung sinasabi ng dalawa, which I think they're honest enough about it, kasi ito pa yung isa kong naisip, what do they get from telling this story? At this point, for me, how I see this is it's their release. It's their truth. It's time for them to let this out, for them to live their lives. That are at that point in their lives where they want stability, they want, they want peace, I guess, of mind. Yeah, they want peace of mind, I think. And if you guys are able to watch it, if you were able to watch it, you can see how sincere these two people are. Actually, sabi ko kay Paul, you can still see na mahal pa rin nila si Michael Jackson. They love him. They loved him. And they still do. They love him. They admire him. They idolize him. It was that. It was a relationship for them. I can tell you yung mga details. I think you guys have to watch it. Yun naman yung point nito. I want you guys to watch what I watch and like get your own reaction. Pero for me, yun nga, I believe na there was something wrong, na Michael did something wrong, and parang this reinforced it. Although, kahit ganun yung belief ko, I was still shocked. Kasi I didn't think na ganito ka grabe yung situation ni Michael Jackson with those kids. I mean, it's not normal. It's not normal. There, guys. If you guys can catch Leaving Neverland, parts 1 and 2, I'm not sure kung ano yung laman nung uh, part 2. Hindi ko alam kung may resolve there. I'll try to find it. Uh, pero part 1 is all about the revelations. It's all about um, building up the story. The relationship of Michael Jackson with the kids. So it's also a must watch. I have to warn you guys. Pag nahanap nyo tong video na to, it's not for kids. And not for Michael Jackson fans. <laughs> Tapos with the documentary, I'm not sure who to blame. I'm not sure if the parents are to blame. Kasi there were red flags nga everywhere. Pero pinayagan pa rin nila yung kid nila to be with Michael. I'm not sure if Michael was to blame. May parts wherein they said na si Michael yung nag- Michael yung nag-initiate. Kung ano man yun, kung ano man yung ginagawa nila every day. Is it their families to blame? Tung dalawang bata, what I saw was they weren't close to their dad. Siguro yun, yung lack of father figure. That's why, eh, hindi ko rin naman alam kung dapat bang sisihin yung dalawang bata kasi pumayag sila. I'm not sure if it's because they were getting stuff. It's just so, it's mind-blowing for me. <sighs> anyway, Yun yung thoughts ko about this, guys. About um, Leaving Neverland Part 1. Let me clear myself. So there, guys. Again, disclaimer. This particular video is not for kids. I don't know if I can link I can put the link down below kasi nga, wala na. HBO has rights to this video. Um, this is just my initial reaction. Wala pa siyang resolve for me since hindi pa napapanood yung part 2. Maybe next week, I'll watch. I'll be able to watch it somewhere. Tapos, I'll tell you guys what I think. But for now, bye guys! Thank you for watching!